If you're new to our channel, my partner Adam and I and our dog Twyla have been traveling around Australia for the last three years. We mostly travel in our converted Ford Transit camper van and occasionally take our Suzuki Jimny out tent camping and we don't even mind doing a few Airbnbs in between, large and small. So for everything camp cooking, paid and free camping locations, camping tips and tricks, and the good old country bakery, you've come to the right place. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe and come travel Australia one town at a time. Now you know who we are, let's get back to the episode. Our first stop is the Elmore Miniature Railway. This place looks so much fun. We're about to watch someone take off now. And, um, but yeah, they've got a few different trains they have. Goes around on a small track. And uh, yeah, it doesn't cost much to hop on, but um, we'll see what they, it looks like going around now. Right next door to those trains is the Rural Discovery Centre. This is a free place you can enter. It's got a shop here and um, a whole heap of information. So we'll go in and take a look. And we've got 15 minutes-ish, but it is open six, seven days a they week. They try to open it every volunteer. day. Depending on the volunteers who are available, I uh, try to open seven days a week. Um, we're speaking to a lovely lady here who was volunteering herself, and she explained to us that this uh, machine was invented by Hugh Victor McKay, who's a harvester um, of wheat, and this is an improvement of the machine next to us, just, just behind you. Yeah, so this is the older one, and then this is... The that wasn't quite... Um, I guess versatile or efficient enough to for, for production wise. So, a 17 year old Hugh invented this. 17 which, years old. Which they called the Sunshine. And this basically stripped the wheat, it bagged the wheat, it separated parts of the wheat um, that they didn't, they didn't need. So, it's basically more efficient, more productive, saves time, saves money. Yeah. Um, and he ended up getting a basically factory in Melbourne area over time, employed like 4,000 staff or 4,000 people. And the lady was saying that area where they had that, that factory and they were developing all these and making these is now known as Sunshine in Melbourne. So, because they named it after him. Name. Yeah. So, this is it working right here and it's doing it what it does. And you see the horses pull it along. And then here it is on the back. All right, so I've actually got a photo of him. Hey, mm -hmm. this is him here. How old is he here? 20. 20 years old. Just after he invented it. Or well, made it better, I should say, really. Well, he did invent it. Well, he did, but yeah. And here is all the staff that he employed. It's cozy. Yep. Hey, it's new tiny home. <laughs> and they actually use paper, like newspapers as wallpaper. Yeah, you can see that here. 1920s. And if you didn't see on the sign before that I filmed, Twyla's allowed her in here. She can walk around and uh, as long as your dog's well behaved, she's more than welcome in here. Or he's, he can come in, she can come in. You could do some good camp cooking on that. Look at that. Twyla, do you want some dinner? Yes. So they've got a whole thing here about shearing. They've got some of the equipment they used to use. 
and um, a little bit of information about it. There's a question for you. And uh, these are whole different types. Who knew there were so many different types? So this is where you enter into the museum through the shop and um, they have so many awesome things here if you're after a souvenir or something to remember your visit by um, they've got a whole heap of things in here to look at and buy but um we are just so happy that we're allowed to bring twilo in here and into the museum adam at it again looking at hats you're gonna buy one today it's coming out of the museum and it looks like they've got an old bridge that maybe used to go over the train tracks because this is a train station here and um, you can go up and go through it. So I just found a bit of information about the footbridge. So if you want to pause and have a read, it just tells you a little bit about it and um, when it was operational. Look how nice this looks. at the train station there is another museum but this is only open on a Saturday um, I don't know if that'll change but um, yes yeah, a Saturday so we've missed it but that is here as well right next to the this water tower so we've gotten here pretty late on a Saturday so everything's pretty much closed except for the IGA is still open so of course before we go to the caravan park where we're gonna be staying tonight Adam wants to get himself a treat Adam, what did, yeah, you, what did you go out home and buy? We got you some uh, liquorice sauce. Yep, I like Jaffers. Jaffers. Couldn't find any. It's so, oh yeah, well, that's close enough. Yeah. Same, same. Same, same. Anna, Anna. That's for the walk back to the van. I think. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we've made it to the caravan park, which was only about a block away from the where we were. And we're actually, look, I can show you the whole park from here. This is the whole park. There's your park tour. <laughs> but um, no, that's where we're parked. We're just over there for the night. We've got a powered site. And uh, it's starting to get dark. So we're just taking Twilight for a bit of a walk. We'll have a look around. We'll go see where the men's toilets are. And then uh, head back to start thinking about dinner. So I'll do a super quick tour um, before we head into the van. Um, this is the toilet block. You've got the men's on one side, ladies on the other side, and then also you've got the laundry just here. So the caravan park's right next to the tennis courts, and the gates are open, so we could probably go play some tennis if we had rackets. And then you've got the camp kitchen here. What are you watching, Adam? <laughs> Is it that comedians? The three of them. I think they're brothers or something. Does this remind you Shushi of Shushi your Mango. family? Sushi Mango. <laughs> Sushi Mango. Or Sushi something. Mango. Yeah. And then Twyla, I think it's time for your dinner. So um, we always bring her, she always has a bit of um, some carrots and her meat and her wet and her dry. So we're going to pop that together and you're going to eat and then we're going to cook our dinner. All right, Twyla. Sit. Stay. Drop one. Eat them up. Alright, for dinner tonight, I'm doing a German pasta. I've never made this before, but it looks good. And it's a one-pot meal. And you know we love that for these getaways. So, give it a go and uh, see what you think. Alright, well, let's start off with the German side of things. I've got picked what these up from Aldi. And um, that's the ger most German sausage I could find. They had a few different types there, but that's what I've chosen. Uh, we need mushrooms, garlic, two tomatoes, one onion, and um, chicken stock. So you grab yourself some chicken stock. I'm using that whole thing. Uh, pasta, uh, they said to use the one with the little bow, so that's what I'm doing. Um, we've got some cheese and aged cheddar cheese. We need to grate that down. Uh, cream, and I'm just using a small one like this. Uh, salt, pepper, and then also we're going to be doing the uh, parsley and oregano. So 
that is everything we need for this. So Adam's editing Sunday night's episode and I'm over here. I've just cut up the garlic. Now I've done three cloves of garlic, one onion. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw that in now. Just pop some oil in there as well. All right, so I'm ready to cook this one pot wonder. I've got my garlic cut up, so that's how I cut it up, nice and small. Um, onion, like so. And then over here, I've got all ready to go the mushrooms, cut up the sausage, cut up my tomatoes, and um, the cheese goes on last, so we'll worry about that later. So anyway, first things first, let's get this cooked up. So now the onion starts to brown, we're gonna go in with our mushrooms. Right now, we're gonna throw in all of this. There goes the tomatoes and the German sausage. All right, now that's cooked down a little bit, we're gonna pop in our pasta. Then our thickened cream. Then to get the rest of the cream out, we're just gonna chuck our chicken stock into here, into the um, cream container. And give that a rinse around and pour it in. And then we wanna pour the rest I'm probably not going to put it all in. I'll probably put three quarters of this in. And then if we need more, we'll add it in as we go. Go in with your salt and pepper. I normally like cracked pepper, but this is all we have in the van. But otherwise, use cracked pepper. And just do your salt to taste. Sprinkle in your oregano. And your parsley. And I think it's time to add the rest of this in. In the chicken stock. And then I'm going to pop the lid on. And we'll see what we turn out with. It's looking good. Lid goes on. Been 15 minutes. Now it's time to open it up and give it a stir. But check it out. It smells. Not that you can smell it. So good. And now Adam was a bit iffy about this because he doesn't like. You're not really a fan of like what? Uh, cooked, Half cooked sausages. Half cooked sausages. Because I didn't fry them off first. But you don't need they're going to get cooked in this and um yeah look at this and it's just getting thicker and thicker and it smells amazing twyla uh twyla's upset because <laughs> there was a dog on tv you're always barking at dogs on tv comment down below if your dog does the same but anyway <laughs> this is looking good it won't need much longer once this sauce thickens and the pasta is cooked then we can throw the cheese through and this is going to be such a beautiful meal. All right, the pasta is ready. So now what I'm going to do is add in my cheese. I've turned it off. I'm just going to put the cheese through it. I'm not going to add all the cheese. We'll put a little bit on top, but um, <laughs> that's not coming out. <laughs> but we'll mix that through and then we'll dish up. Well, here's a flattering story. Adam, um, you're really enjoying it, yeah? If it was salami or prosciutto or something like that, maybe even mozzarella, but fried or something. Okay, so Adam's, like I said, Adam's not a big fan of sausage that doesn't look like it's I been like, fried. I don't like sausages <laughs> soaked in liquid. <laughs> soaked in liquid. Yeah, I'm not a fan. <laughs> this I'm is not how it looks. Look how good this looks. And it tastes absolutely beautiful. But he's... um Some sifting through. de sausagerizing his pasta... <laughs> Everything and, else um, is nice. It's yeah, just... but the taste of the actual pasta, good, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, I do like it. It's just, I don't, like I said, I don't like sausages boiled. Yeah, anyway. It's just the personal freedom. Okay. So, that's what Adam's doing. Tyler and I are enjoying it, aren't we, Tyler? Yes, we are. Well, like we always like to say, we had didn't have to put the aerial up, and we got good reception. Tyler's a bit knackered, and we're watching a bit of a, it's like the third ab... A fab episode, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good morning, Twyla. Good morning. Sleep well? No. <laughs> Weirdest dreams. <laughs> As always. All right, so we've had our coffees. We've woken up to, it was an overcast day, but there's just a bit of blue sky and um, it's not that cold. So pretty good. We got told it was be pretty cold in the morning, but I think we've slept past the best part of that. And we've gotten up a little bit late and uh, it's now 10 o'clock. So we're gonna leave the park 
And um, we, if we were staying here another night, we could probably just walk into town. It's so, like, it's one block away. Um, but we're just going to drive into town and head to the bakery. Hands are full. Yeah. Oh, that looks good. Go back in there. I'm going to go back and get coffee. Yeah. A selection they had inside. And look, we we went to town. Yeah. Now, Adam, <laughs> I was going to get the Bushman's Burger, but then you recommended something for me. What was it? Well, I've seen you probably enjoy it. It's a jalapeno cheese pulled beef pie. Oh, that sounds awesome. Look, even Twyla wants some. This is insanely good. Look at the pulled pork in there. And I've already had a jalapeno in my first bite. It, don't worry, this wasn't one bite, this was two. <laughs> but it tastes really good, really, really good. Try to eat with her on your lap, it's almost impossible. <laughs> no, you can't have this. <laughs> now Adam's tackling this big cream thing. How are you gonna do, Adam? I think it's gonna all end up all over your face. Mm. That pie was absolutely insane. So I'm definitely giving it the King Dino's thumbs up. If you're in town, definitely try these guys out. Their pies are insane, loved it. So we've got our coffees and we're gonna take them for a bit of a walk around town. Go see what there is. And I know there's a couple of shops as well. Other uh, shops that we didn't see yesterday, so I might check them out. But look how gorgeous this house is on the corner. We saw a few of these driving around town yesterday. Just really nice houses. But anyway, we'll keep walking. Um, and we hear there's a walking track down here as well. So we're at the end of the street now and it's a huge church over there. And just behind that's meant to be the walking track we're gonna go check out. So we've got a bit of water there and then we're gonna head down this way. This is a walking track you can go on. Don't know where it takes you, but it's a walking track. We noticed a few signs along the way that just tell you about, one told us about the fish, one was telling us about birds and bugs and those kind of things. And this is where we're getting off the track. So the track keeps going. Like I said, don't know where to, but um, there was a runner on it just before. They got a sand pit just here as we're coming off. It has full of kids toys. So it looks like the locals all come down here and the kids play. And then um, again, we've just seen some really nice houses, beautiful old houses. And then the reason why we're coming off the track here is for this water tower. All right, so I've just noticed there's a sign up here. So I'll just film that and see what year this was built. So it's got 1891. And then it's got a sign on here. Just telling you a little bit about it, but I think uh, we've got to go because some dog doesn't like us being here. All right, now we've come down to another strip of shops. So we've got the Uporium down there and a little coffee van, which we'll go check out in a sec. They've got an art gallery and um, also um, house and more over there. All right, we're gonna go check out this shop, but right next door to it. This is where the cafe, little cafe in a van is. They've got seating outside with umbrellas, but we're gonna go head, out, head over to the Almore Vintage Emporium. Loving these displays in the window. All right, this place is so cool, I'm loving it. And um, we let Twyla in. She was allowed to walk, well, be in Adam's arms. But I'll just sing this. Look at this. All these buttons. Reminds me of when I was little and I used to play with my nan's buttons in a tin. There are so many cool things in here. Look at this. I just found a little Humphrey bear. I'm very tempted to get it. I have brought a Humphrey bear for one of these shops before. It was a teddy. But this one looks like it. It's a rubber one, and um, there's a few other cute things like this old, this here, I think you put your money on it and you give it to the dog, and look at an old tram, All right, this must be the creepy section. How 
how awesome are these? They've got, look, Sunday glasses to make Sundays. And thick shake. How awesome. So tempted, but I'm going to leave them here. I'm not buying them. Are you feeling like you need that, Adam? Maybe 10 years. In 10 years? Okay. Look at this old vintage record player. That is awesome. And even these, I reckon there'll be a lot of people who love these in their shed. That's a bit of a feature. Wow, that place was awesome. And I love the way they have all this, everything so well merchandised. It looks so gorgeous. It's like going to a museum, stepping back in time. But um, you can definitely buy something interesting. All right, now we're going to head over and check out the House of Moor. Can I have some more, sir? Can I have more? Gone and looked at the thing I would have looked at very first. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what were you looking at? No, I thought for the nephew. I want one. Look how awesome these are. They're so cute. Oh, that was such a unique shop. It has so many things from around the world. You definitely got to come and check them out. It reminded me of like, a lot of places I used to shop in Mexico. Not that they had any... Well, they might have had one or two things from Mexico. Um, but uh, it just gave me that vibe. Anyway... We'll move on now. We're going to head now to the uh, art gallery. In going this time, Adam went in. What did you yes, think? This is Twyla. Yes. I was there for five minutes. So I met the artist Richie. So he's been here as a German artist and he's moved here oh, many years ago. But him and his wife have been here for 20 odd years. They converted this building to an art gallery. And uh, he's, he's obviously it's his work. Yeah, no, it's so, uh, really uh, awesome stuff. He's got uh, a few scenes of the local regions. So you've got uh, well, ta us. some Tasmania, rainforest in Tasmania. You've got St. Armand. Um, yeah, there's definitely a few um, local local inspired pieces. And he uses oils as well, so it's quite talented. So check it out for you, town. And I've just noticed they've got this sign on here. So the building itself, it's been through many um, changes over the years. we just tell you a bit about the history. And then I just noticed too, the last place we were in, which this shop here, is actually um, the State uh, Savings Banks. I think it says up there. But yeah, it's beautiful buildings. And we've just walked past this and it shows a picture when the horses we used to come past and it was a dirt road. And uh, that was the first shop we went into. Uh, the Emporium on the same street as the shops. You got another building here. There is a sign over there saying a little bit about it, but just another gorgeous building. So it must be someone's house now, but I'm just going to go up and check out this sign to see a bit about the history. And it's the Bank of New South Wales, 1873. So we just pulled over inside the road because I just spotted this house that looks like our Parliament House in Canberra. So when they built the Parliament House in Canberra, they basically took away a hill, um, build it, and then put the hill back on top. And this is what they've done with this house. It's actually got a roof. Anyway, let me just turn around to show you. So you can see how the grass just goes over, right over top of it. And it's kind of like, it looks kind of the same as Parliament, but just a little mini version. And now uh, I think I've got a feeling an artist must own this house because um, there's a sculpture out the front. And it's a bit of an arty, farty feel about it. Um, and you can see the chimneys on top and um, a couple of manholes so they can get some light in the building. So we're at the Shamrock Hotel, if I hadn't already said that, and um, this is their menu. So it's just got your, pretty much your standard stuff. And, um, but we're not gonna go too crazy. We're just gonna get a bowl of wedges and a drink. Come to the outside of the, well, the back yard of the pub. Is that what you call it? The back of the pub? And um, got a little really cute little area here. So I'm going to tie up Twyla. We're the only ones here at the moment. There's people inside, but... Um, and uh, we're just going to have something small to eat and have a drink. The owner just brought out a fresh bowl of water for Twyla. Very spoiled. And um, we've got our drinks as well. And we've got a lemon lime bitters. And I've got a, myself a beer. And we've got some chips on the way. I thought I'd go in here and check out this little area here. I don't know if this is open always to the public, but it's open at the moment. So you can come in and play pool. Um, it looks like they had a birthday here last night. So 
yeah, as you can see, it's 21st birthday <laughs> banner hanging there. But this is a cool little spot. I don't know if they hide this out, um, but really cool. And um, they've even got a fireplace out here, like the one they've got inside. But anyway, time to eat something. Chips just came out. Adam couldn't wait. He's <laughs> straight into it. He must be hungry. <laughs> but these look good. And just got the um, uh, sour cream and chili to dip it into. It was a nice little snack. We've just come out back to the car. And look at these three guys sitting in the back of the ute. I'm glad Twyla hopped on the other side of the car. I've got a feeling they might have jumped out. If they seen her, they'll think that she was a sheep and be ready to be rounded up. <laughs> All right, before we leave town today, we thought we'll come back to the trains. Not that they're on today, but um, we thought we'd just use this grass for Twyla normally has a bit of a wee run before we head off. Um, so it's a couple of hours drive home. And uh, I was just thought, look at this opportunity waiting to happen. I was saying to Adam yesterday, can you see what I see? Yes, I think. This could definitely be painted on, and uh, I look forward to if they ever do it. This town, I think, could bring in even more tourism for them. And um, there's plenty of places to park on the other side. Um, some of the locals might say we get stuff, but <laughs> I reckon this would be awesome if they could do some painting on this. Anyway, we better hit the road. Right, that's it for this episode. If you're new to the channel, make sure you do go like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And guys, please leave a comment down there. We answer back to everybody. So get down there if you've got any questions, we can answer them. And until next Sunday, we will see you then. Thanks, guys.